understanding to ourselves, trying to understand that ocean of reality, that the Word has an understanding for us based on what we have been conditioned and what we have been taught. And they begin to teach us to look beyond the world of form. That for every word, it is made up of letters. What Allah is dressing that letter to make that word. So that becomes the importance and the understanding and the opening of, of that knowledge is that when you look at divinely words and holy words from holy Qur'an, say that we have an understanding but each huruf has infinite dressings and realities like an ingredients. Each huruf is putting an ingredients into that word and then you're reciting that word. But what we understand of that word and what Allah is dressing that are oceans apart. They dress that understanding here as well as there are oceans of reality that we are trying to move into that understanding. To recap that understanding, they say all of Holy Qur'an is in 30 sections. All 30 sections in seven holy verses and those seven holy verses is Surat al-Fatiha. All of those, that power of Holy Qur'an in seven verses of Surat al-Fatiha and then like a laser they describe that those seven verses of Surat al-Fatiha, its power is in Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In 19 letters of Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim that they carry these oceans of reality that once they expand out, again the reverse way, it expands to Fatiha, from Fatiha to 30 Jews, from 30 Jews now the power of Holy Qur'an is moving out. So it means like a laser that you have knowledge of Holy Qur'an, then when Allah wants to give realities, He gives the knowledge of just Surat al-Fatiha that contains all the secrets of Holy Qur'an and then from that condense more like a laser to the secrets of Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. All of Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, they say in the Ba. And the Ba representing the ocean of power, the Ba of Qudra. Then for that understanding, all that power in the Ba, and then we're taught the word Qalb. And Qalb for us is a piece of flesh that it's the center of our being, it's the source of power of our being. But Qal for moving and a mirage towards the understanding, Allah doesn't have a, a physical heart like that. But Allah directing us the Qal of this universe means then is a location of power. There must be like the laser, there must be a center point that is the location of all power and that power emanating out throughout this created universe with the samawati wal ard. So then they begin to teach us that the qalb for Allah beyond the form. So don't say, oh it's his heart, qalb is heart. No, qalb is heart for us. But when we're trying to learn the marifa and the realities of these numbers and letters, they begin to look at the ingredients of qalb. Has a qaf. And they begin to teach qaf on Qur'an. Means the qaf is representing now the holy reality and the power and is that the holy Qur'an. So then there's a power in that just by the qaf. Then they say, look at the lamb. And the lamb means that. The power of Holy Qur'an is now moving on a lisan, on a tongue, the tongue of truth. Because the qaf lam qul is the expression of speech. It means Allah just divinely speech is speaking. But Allah cannot be heard by everyone. But Allah is everywhere. It means then they begin to teach that that qul, the divinely qul of Allah's majestic oceans, it begins to hit the bah. And that begins our understanding or towards the understanding 
of Khal. So the Qul, the power of Qul hitting to the Ba, and the ocean of Ba is the Bahr of Qudra and the oceans of power that are emanating. Then like in science they begin to teach if this is the Qalb that Allah is talking about, and for Allah everything is in Holy Qur'an. Every force and every power, every creation is manifesting from the power of Holy Qur'an and Holy Qur'an is not created. It's Allah's ancient speech. So then heart of Holy Qur'an that all our beloved shaykhs teach us is Surat Yaseen. Surat Yaseen alayhi salatu salam is the name of Sayyidina Muhammad. Then Allah is giving us direction that the qalb that you are looking for is qalb al Muhammad. That through the heart of the Rohaniyat and Nabi, that is the center of all power for all the Samawati wala. All the universes, everything is coming into the heart of Prophet and manifesting out. And then Allah describes Holy Qur'an because the understanding of the Qaf is that if I reveal my Holy Qur'an to mountain, it would be dust. So then he describes that nothing can hold that Qul, nothing can hold my Divinely speech. There is no angel that can hold it, there is no reality that can hold it, but when I reveal my Qur'an to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad it stands firm. Then they begin to again put all that reality for us in an understanding that that power and that izzat is emanating through the light of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad in the world of light. So then all that power emanating from that reality and that his holy tongue salam, is speaking for Allah Allah is a hidden treasure wanting to be known but you can never know. There's nowhere that you go and you sit with Allah There's nowhere that you can go and that you breathe with Allah's air, la shariq. There's no partner and there's no likeness unto Allah Means the hidden nature of Allah always remains hidden and Allah always brings the reality of Prophet forward. So that if you want to know me, you know me through the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad So then, if all that power in the Ba, and just now described from Mawlana's teaching that the Qal is the heart of Sayyidina Yaseen alayhi salatu salam, means all that is a description of the reality of what Allah is dressing Sayyidina Muhammad Then to the understanding of Allah. That we said before that nothing can contain Allah When you say Allah, that even the alif, the lam, the lam, and the hay, they cannot hold Allah It's merely a description to direct us to that reality. You can't say that I know Allah by even saying the word Allah. Because it's beyond description, it's beyond the capacity of the huruf to even hold the reality of Allah it's merely giving us a direction towards that understanding. So then they begin to teach us that to move towards that reality, the alif is always moving away. And what we have is lam, lam, hey, lillah, lillah. When the alif moves, its creation because the divinity is in the alif. The lam, lam, hey is creation. Hey is for hidayat and the hadi, guidance. That that hey is bringing us towards the reality that Allah wants to teach us of marifah. Come to hidayat and guidance. Come to my Hadi, my guide, and he will begin to teach you from the first lamb. 
The first lamb is the world of form, that everything that has been created in the world of form. Because we have to use from our physicality in the world of form. We're coming Ya Rabbi to guidance, we're coming to who's your Hadi and Muhammad then is the guide of Allah's reality. Then Allah Prophet teaching Allah is not in heavens and not on earth but on the heart of the believer. So then they put the alif on the lamb. This alif is now trying to show the marifah that the alif begins to dress that first lamb and begin to teach that my reality is on that heart. And once they begin to open into that reality, then the lamb, the second lamb, is then of the creation of the heavens. Is the world of malakut, which is no form, the world of energy and, and subtle beings. The, the second one closest to the alif, mulki wa malakut. Everything from the world of form, is the first one closest to us because we're coming from the hay for guidance. We're coming then to the heart of that lamb as an alif, means Allah can be found within the heart of the Prophets Then they take us with belief to the kingdom of the heavens. So hidayat has to come from the hay. Then they begin to teach the reality of lamb alif, that the lamb always comes behind with respect to the alif. Because nothing can attach to alif. But the lamb can come from behind. You can't attach yourself in front of the alif. So the lamb comes from behind, means then this is from the reality of Prophet can come from behind. And then Allah sends that reality forward. And the alif remains hidden. What they call the Sirat Lam Jalala, the Sirat Al. Lam alif. So the negation in our way towards the reality is to negate. La, la, la. Because the master of that reality is Prophet. So to be nothing, to be nothing, to be nothing. And Allah push Prophet forward and that I will be known through you. And I'm always a hidden treasure. Wanting to be known means that the process of marifa. Then is the reality wanting to be known. And then opening the realities of the Lamb and the understanding of the Lamb. Shall we go in, on to it more in detail on Saturday? Oh people, come to Him. Come to the way, oh Sultan Rabia, most honored one and most glorified one, most praised one in divine presence, Sayyidina Muhammad Salam.